Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday the 13th of June where I go through, set up just one of our signals from our membership area. Our members, simply click on the uh, area to the right here. We've got potential long fifth wave trades, potential short fifth wave trades. They're on the weekly, daily and the six minute time frame and they're downloadable spreadsheets every single day for those signals. We also have stochastic long trades, stochastic short trades on intraday time frames. So for example today I'm going to be looking at potential long trade. Uh, our members would simply click in here and then you can see uh, we just go back in time uh, every single day they just click on the image there and download the spreadsheet so the spreadsheet for today looks something like this this is for the daily time frame we also at the bottom of the spreadsheet here you can see it for the weekly and the 60 minute but I want to concentrate on the daily time frame today I've chosen one of these um, potential trades here uh, to set up on the chart and go through there and do the setup for you. So I've chosen GCI Gannett Co Inc on the daily time frame here and we I'm going to look at the chart right now to set it up. So this is a chart I'm using the Ninja Trader version of our Elliott Wave indicator suite. It is also available for Thinkorswim, TradeStation and MultiCharts. As we can see on this chart here this uh, stock respects our fifth wave moves quite well we've had a recent long trade hit the target the fifth wave target there and then a short and now we're currently in a we've had a long big move we've had a deep pullback but it's still meeting our criteria and that criteria is brought over into the filters the basic filters into the data for the scanner membership there so let's just let's just move that along a little bit so the basic filters are that the wave 4 has pulled back into our automated probability zones here and it's found support in the red zone so that's a 75% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave 5 high into our automated target zones here around about 1210. Now also on the filtration system for the scanners, for the signals, we have the 535 oscillator. This is the oscillator down here and near the bottom and the oscillator is pulled back between 19 140% really good uh, sign that this wave 4 has behaved well also the stochastic has pulled back between uh, excuse me in the oversold zone and crossed over so it wants to go back so those three basic filters give us the starting point for a potential long here in from the signals membership now using our indi indicator suite we can see that uh, I've isolated the wave count down at the bottom And then we've got the one, two, three, four there. So our indicator suite automatically labels those Elliott wave, Elliott waves there. So now we're looking for the long. Remember, we're trying to trade this fifth wave. It's the highest probability move in a fifth wave sequence in a trend. Now, for this stock GCI, we have got a great risk reward here. So we did try to get out of our six four moving average high yesterday, but failed and rejected and came back down into the support level here. That's not a bad sign, but we need to make sure we are going to go and um, get that momentum back in the direction of the main trend, which is bullish. Uh, so I've gone for an entry at 1080, which is outside of the 6.4 moving average high for today's bar position. The 6.4 moving average high is the green moving average, part of our indicator suite, and we use that for our entry strategy. It's also above the high of yesterday, so we're clear of the high of yesterday. We're well clear of the 6.4 moving average high. So an entry at 1080, 1081, something like that, very, very sensible. And we've got the stop loss there just below the wave for low at 10.29. Okay. And then the target is around about 12.10 in the middle of our automated target zone there. So we've got a great risk reward of 1 to 2.5 on this potential long trade for GCI. Now, with this uh, really great risk reward, you could be a little bit more conservative with the entry. You could even go as far as 10.87, something like that, and you'd still get a 1 to 2 risk reward, and you'd be a little bit more conservative into the entry there. But for me, I'm going for 10.80, uh, and that's my uh, entry strategy for today for GCI on the daily time frame. So have a great training day, and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.